What's up, everyone? If there's a cliche I can safely say is my most hated, it's Superman being evil. We've been seeing this so many times for the past decade. Superman is one of my favorite superheroes, one of my favorite fictional characters. And seeing him with all this rage, this intoxicating mentality that he thinks he's above the world, he's going to keep everyone in check, everyone should answer to him. We've seen this in Injustice 1 and 2. We've seen this in that nightmare sequence in Dawn of Justice. And I hate seeing him that way. Superman should never be this. Superman is a good person who was born with this power. He's stronger than anyone else in the world. He can do things no one else can. He uses that to benefit everyone because he wants to. He is a well-meaning Boy Scout. And that's why he's one of my favorites. Not just because he's faster than a speeding bullet. He can lift a building. No, I love him for his ideologies. Superman vs. The Elite is my favorite Superman movie. The conflict isn't, can Superman beat this team, The Elite? No, it's, can Superman win the hearts of the world from The Elite? The Elite are these punks who have superpowers, and they use it to kill and destroy the bad guys, and... Everyone loves them. They think, yeah, these guys know how it is. Superman sucks. He doesn't get it. Everyone is turning ugly inside. They think it's fun to kill. Having the same qualities as the bad guy is perfectly fine. And Superman sticks to his ideologies. He wants to show everyone, no, there is a better way. We don't have to resort to this. We never should. We should be better than this. And we look at the Injustice games especially Injustice 2, which made me cringe so much. You got Superman in Arkham Asylum, ready to slaughter anyone in there. And there's a cutscene where Kara goes to Superman about Wonder Woman, who was on the verge of killing Harley. And Superman calmly says, yeah, it's unfortunate that she's still around, but don't worry, when this is all over, we'll chop her head off. And the Superman ending when he fuses with Brainiac's ship, and he brainwashes Batman into being his servant. And he's telling Kara, well, you can either join me willingly, or I can make you. The choice is yours. I have mixed feelings about the Injustice games, mostly because of the story. We need more of good Superman. We need that Boy Scout. I would much rather watch Superman rescue a cat from a tree. I miss that. And Warner Brothers said last year, they don't know what to do with Superman. They don't think he's relevant for today's audience. We need Superman. Not just as a hero, but as a person. Superman is a positive, uplifting character who can inspire optimism to even the most depressed person. With every new story about Superman being evil, or a parody of him, where you got Brightburn or Homelander in The Boys, nobody sees that in Superman. The Legend of Superman is about a man who came from another world and he has all this power, and he chose to use it to do the right thing. If you make him a bad guy, then it's just another alien invasion movie. That's nothing special. That's why I didn't watch Brightburn and I'm not interested in seeing it. It's times when people are feeling pessimistic or depressed, they need Superman. Superman's belief in the good of people, that eternal optimism, that's why we need him. That's why he's such an outstanding character. And I know, the Injustice games, it's another version of Superman. The problem is when another version becomes more popular than the main version, people are seeing the other version more than what the character should be. And we've been seeing so much of evil Superman again and again, I'm sick of it. What if Superman was evil isn't an interesting concept anymore. If anything, it's an exaggerated, overused cliche. I want to finish this video with my favorite Superman line. It was used at the end of What's So Funny About Truth, Justice, and the American Way. Manchester Black tells Superman that he's living in a dream world, and Superman replies, Dreams save us. Dreams lift us up and transform us. And on my soul, I swear, until my dream of a world where dignity, honor, and justice becomes the reality we all share, I'll never stop fighting. Ever. Thanks for listening. Till next time.